In my marketing, I don't try to get your attention because if when I try to get your attention, I am not being who I am normally. And therefore, it is not a sustainable process. I'm working too hard instead of spending energy in the areas that I really most enjoy. And what I most enjoy is not trying to get attention. And really, I think if each of us simply do marketing in a way that we enjoy, whatever that means for you, in a way where we really want to connect with other people, we enjoy the authentic expression, then marketing is sustainable and marketing is authentic and we attract just the people that are meant for us. If we try to get attention, we end up getting unwanted attention, meaning we get more people drawn to us than really we are meant to serve. And what happens with that over time is that you increase your advertising costs because essentially in marketing, you are getting new people who don't know you to discover you. That's called your cool, cool audience. And then you have people who already know who you are and you are nurturing that relationship with them. And that's called the warm audience, right? And so if you try to get attention doing various tricks and visual interruptions and whatever, whatever it is that you don't know, normally enjoy, you use that tactic to try to get people's attention. You draw a lot of people to you, but then you can't keep doing it because you don't have the energy to keep being that way. So instead, use your energy to be fully what you enjoy being normally with your clients that accept you as you are, with your friends that love you as you are, how are you with them? And then give your energy to being fully that, that kind of expression, that kind of connectedness, that kind of service or compassion. And if you are that fully you in your marketing, you're not going to, you're not going to attract the world. You're not going to have more likes and followers than some people because maybe you're not trying to be as pretty or as handsome or as funny or as whatever, or video is not as well edited as somebody else's. My videos are completely unedited because I don't have the energy and I don't want to pay the money to edit videos. And I don't care that it doesn't attract more people. I'm attracting the right people. My business is full. And so I can just I realize that being myself is a very effective strategy and so is it being yourself too. Now, you may need to experiment with different ways of being yourself to see, oh, you know, there are probably 25 ways you could be authentic that are that is true for you. There's just there's a lot there's a lot of creativity within you. So, when you experiment with different ways of being authentic, you notice what works for the market and you emphasize those ways. It's still authentic to you and it works for the market. But there are some things that we do that are authentic to us that are not meant for the market, that are maybe meant for just our own families or our own hobbies or whatever it is. Great. But what I'm saying is make marketing enjoyable for you, sustainable for you by not having to use any tricks that you don't enjoy to get attention. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's visual interruption, cool graphics, editing, blah, blah, blah. I mean, if you enjoy it, do it, like I said. But if you don't enjoy it, you don't have to do it. You're not going to get as many numbers, but you'll get the right people. Now, it also really, really helps if you put some advertising dollars behind your authentic expressions so that you'll reach more of the right people. But you don't have to do anything to try to attract the masses. I'm not trying to get more traffic to my website. I'm not trying to build a bigger email list. I'm trying to get the right traffic to my website. I'm trying to build the right people on my email list. Again, I've been doing this strategy for five years and it's working extremely well. It started working a year or two into it. But, but um, prior to that, my first five years of my business, 2009 to 2013, yeah, 2009, 2013 was where I was not authentic. I was trying to get attention. I was trying to do all these different things. It burnt me out. Yes, it made some money, but it burnt me out and I just, I, I hated my business. 
and I essentially started over in 2014. I removed 90% of my email list. I started with a new website and I started over. I started over uh, with some, some residue from the, from the past, but I largely started over. Being, say, I'm gonna just be myself. Just be my most, again, lots of, lots of selves. We have lots of selves within us. I'm going to be my most service-oriented, most passionate self, most caring self, and I'm gonna see what happens. And you too, what is within you? You have many, maybe you're funny and you need to be your funny self. Maybe you are, you know, you have a dry humor. I don't know what it is that you're hiding. Maybe you, you, you love art and you're not bringing art into your, you know, whatever it is that you enjoy doing, bring that in to your messaging, your marketing, and see how the market reacts to that. And use ad, ad dollars, Instagram ads, Facebook ads to get it out to more people who are likely to love you for just who you are. So I hope this is helpful for you to go forth and commit and know that authentic marketing works. Because authentic, in part, because the authentic marketing is sustainable. And you need your marketing to be sustainable to truly work over time. To build a sustainable business, a thriving business over time. Because it takes time. It takes multiple impressions upon an audience before they say, I like and trust you enough and I believe you enough to buy from you. It's not going to take three, five impressions or ten. It'll take 30, 50, 100 impressions. So are you ready for that? If you keep trying to get attention, you're not going to last. If you enjoy your marketing, you'll just keep coming back because you enjoy it. You enjoy that expression. You enjoy that connection. And then you'll make those 30 to 50 to 100 repeated impressions on me to finally buy from you or whoever your audience is. Got it? All right. I hope that's helpful. Take care.